Hi, my name is George Guerrero Pires. Here I'm talking on behalf of the other of the group, which is the PhD student called Ilaria Pietrantoni and the professor Roberto Maggio, which is a kind of supervisor. He, he was the person that introduced myself to Ilaria and the, we, we intend to have him as a kind of a external eyes of the project. On this video, I'm going to explain to you in short words uh, what is the project, what is the main goal, and uh, since initially we, we intend to make something very nice, uh, of course you, you may try to find the definition of what is very nice, and uh, you can say that the uh, um, movie full of animation and the special effect is very nice, or something very scientifically plausible is very nice. So the definition of very nice can change a lot, but I we we are engaged to make something as nice as possible so on this video which is the first video of the project we are we are trying to set the goals to to explain the the the, the reason of the existence of the project this project was born uh, i created the idea came to me two months ago and the, um, I have sent a proposal to Professor Maggio and the, we discussed uh, by mail and finally after several problems to meet we hope to meet and we we, we, are, uh, we, uh, we decide to go on with the project and the Hilary got interested by the project and we start to to decide to make uh, to make this project to, to exist. As we are going to see we are going to see on the slide, the main goal of the project is very simple, is to create a course about biomathematics. So how far we are going to achieve, it's a good question that we don't know, so it's a, it's a project that we intend as well to learn all over the project, we intend as well to, to achieve new, new stuff that we, we, we could not calculate, so I think the minimum that you are, the minimum, the, the basic that you, 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 we plan to, to achieve is a set of videos that will be available on YouTube, likely a set of posts and a set of ideas that is about biomathematics. We do not intend to propose anything new, we do not intend to propose a new era of knowledge, we do not intend to propose anything at all. We just, uh, our own goal here is to spread out information to make to to make our, our own interpretation of what already exists so it's not it's not something about to propose what is biomathematics nothing about propose a definition of biomathematics it's not about uh, anything like this it's just about to take what you already exists in the literature and the, make it in such a way that pre, that the general public can can he can learn can see it in the as well in the end to propose this the the, the, the point that in, in which we propose propose a course uh, a set of the of a, uh, a prototype for a course in biomathematics. My background is 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 engineering in mathematics in life science. I have statistics biology and so on. Ilaris has a background in biology and she now she's doing a PhD in medicine. Professor Marge is a, is a, is a doctor, he has a background in medicine, work with pharmacokinetics and pharmadynamics. And uh, we hope that as well in the partnership we are going to learn with each other and to, to, to enforce our, 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 let's say, engagement, our work in, as, a, as a group. So nowadays it's getting easier and easier to spread out information. Let's say in the past the only way that you could make uh, information go on was by journal in the, the or even not the digital as it is today. Today the printed journal getting each time yeah, more and more rare to find, useless somehow, because for example I have books that's from very nice journals and paper that I, I stay in my room but never use it. You always use the digital version. It's easy to care, can I, can you access it from wherever you are, you can just have it, just in the access to internet, which need a digital version to access. And so, uh, this, since this is a new project, the advantage of the, of the new project as a new, as a new idea that you can adapt to, to what's going on, and today you have a range of the, of the, 
on the YouTube videos and the, you have famous first such as Harvard, MIT, they are very famous, they, they have YouTube channels in which they publish lessons and so on. And we, we plan as well to make use of that because mainly because it's not available and because we, uh, it's a new project so we have no other way to do it because we cannot, for example, at the current moment, as we discussed during the our last discussion, at the current moment, you cannot make it, 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 it without, otherwise because YouTube is that cheap, you don't have to pay, there is no charge and so on. You cannot make it, it like it, as a conventional course right now. And maybe, at least I talk to myself, even if I could, I don't know if I would because we, we, I mean, the conventional course are full of rule and the, by make this kind of course the way we are doing, we expect to have more flexibility that you, you, you would not have otherwise. YouTube is a, is a it's very famous, you have from bad stuff, from good stuff, so it's not a very good place if you have reputation. So you can ask me, why should I trust you? I mean, you, the group behind, I believe, is respectable. You, 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 uh, you are using a very way, to, very easy way to publish, but you have a very, very good group. I believe it's not like very famous, but we have, uh, we have speech to steam that we, we, we are working, uh, we are scientists that we it takes seriously what you do. So the video, in order to make your life easier, uh, the videos are going to be uh, divided in, into three groups. The first one is, is, the, is the project itself, which is called the Crash Course in Biomathematics. So this is the project, this is the core, where, where uh, this is the main, uh, the, the, are going to be the main videos. And have some uh, miscellaneous videos, which, which are videos that can be used for, such as, uh, I'm planning to post, for example, for example uh, videos for my papers that they are ideas I have developed so far, I believe they could help to defend the, 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 the channel and the project itself. And the other as well, for example, if, you, if, you, if someone follows the channel, it could happen that the, uh, you don't know yet, you don't, most, of the, most, of, most of the things about the, this project, about the channel, about everything you have to define, so you don't know yet about what's going on, you don't know yet about uh, how far you, uh, uh, we, uh, we are going to arrive and which kind of achievement we are going to, to, to achieve. So, Maybe we can be lucky enough that someone has very nice videos and would like as well to post alongside our, our, our video. So you just have to send us and you will let us know somehow why you want to publish it alongside our videos. And this partnership is always welcome, especially when they bring to us new, new achievement, enforcement of what we, 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 do, we are doing. And today, if, for example, if you, are, if you are, have a YouTube channel, you already upload the video, do not have even even to send the video, you just have to send the link. So you can you can post the link in the playlist and it appear in the in the YouTube channel as a com as a conventional video. So uh, it's not it's not very easy to talk about the uh, this kind of question here because the, the easiest one could be uh, uh, what is the crash course about biomathematics? So the crash course, the name crash can say, I, I, I'm not quite sure if you are familiar, but for the first time I heard crash course is a course that's very small. So, but uh, I have not some doubt about the term crash course. I, I decided to, ke to keep it because I believe uh, from the point of view of grammar in English, it's not wrong. Maybe not everyone is familiar, but I, I, I have read since kind of crash course. So the crash course is a course that's very short, that's just supposed to be very short. Uh, I'm, uh, in the YouTube, since you have so much, uh, a lot of space without any, any expense and people can see whatever they want, they do not have to watch everything, you are think to post uh, uh, maybe a lot, but uh, if, you tr if, you ch uh, if you succeed to go to the end of the project, you will succeed to have a, a course, that was, a classroom-like course, a course that is, is taught in a, in a, in a classroom. So in this case, like five to ten hours, it, it, that, that's the idea. To five to ten hours, like one hour each each module. So in in in, in, in doing this 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 time of ten hours or five hours, we we discuss from theory to code and mathematics. 
So the second so the second question more important what's biomathematics? So it seems to have no no at least I'm not aware of any serious attempt to 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 say what's the biomathematics, the origin of biomathematics. Likely, I think it's because biomathematics itself is very complex to define. In the beginning, as you already know from the Greek miracle, when in the age of reason and so on, we had all field of science as a, as a unified investigation. They have no separation, they have no physics, no mathematics, no have to stay. The, one of the biggest difference came from, from Newton. Newton, the, uh, until his time, called, like, it was called natural science. So, uh, after him, we start to have most of the division. And all, also the other division uh, was created after him. Such as biology, one example, chemistry, another example. So they were created step by step. As we evolved, we saw the, the necessity to, to separate the area in order to study a specific um, a specific idea, a specific set of experiment. So one can say that that biomathematics came from the last century. Maybe because in the last century we had such such scientists such as uh, I, uh, such as uh, Nicholas Niboskowski. I'm not quite sure about the pronunciation of his name, but he, he was very famous. There was as well uh, uh, I not remember quite well, but there's uh, some scientists from quantum mechanics that had had some contribution. Even Schrader. They had wrote a book, What's, uh, What is Life? And the, he proposed in his, his book some kind of challenge that, would be, that the physics itself will be unable to, to tackle. And one, and one of them was protein. The photon of protein was somehow implicitly uh, predicted by, by Schrader, which was a physicist that worked with, uh, that extended somehow the work of Albert Einstein and it was influenced somehow by Albert Einstein. There's a history say of, of physics. So, a uh, precise definition of what biomathematics is very complicated, but for example, you can say that biomathematics is an abstract name for any effort that we got uh, making the life science more precise with some attempt trying to create general principles and laws such as we have in physics. So, some, some might say that this definition here is biophysics. Anyway, for me, honestly, I think biophysics and biomathematics they are the same. So, they are just an attempt to make it. Uh, because today, I believe it is time more physics and mathematics are not, going, are not so different more. So, when you talk about physics, I could talk about mathematics, they are, they are the same. If you want to make, if you want, want to make the separation, for me, it's not a problem, I believe. But for now, we are assuming here that biophysics and biomathematics they are the same. So uh, it was developed, I mean, the, the way you see biomathematics bio today was developed mainly in the last century. I'm not talking about the origin, but I'm talking about the core, the main ideas, the main, the cornerstone was developed mainly in the last century. The name biomathematics was used mainly in the, in the last century, I believe, especially because biology itself came from the 19th century. The, uh, at that time, they wanted to study the origin of life, such as, you don't know too much, for example, in the case of uh, Lavoisier, Anthony Lavoisier was famous for, for results of the oxygen, he, let's say, he, he, he discovered the oxygen, not discovered, he reinvented that, some say the oxygen, he saw the, some research of, of, uh, of uh, Presley, and the, uh, from that result, he, he, he did a precise calculation, proved that something was there, and called that, that stuff oxygen emit oxygen. So, uh, biologists arrived arri 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 trying to explain uh, stuff as the Lavoisier did the mistake saying that the carbon was just present in the living system. So, this kind of idea that was wrong from the past was fixed by some by the new biologists that was mainly called biology in the 19th century. So, by mathematics, which is a mathematics self, I wrote in a paper uh, recently, it was in 2013, two, three years ago, that this name by mathematics is going to disappear, mainly because nowadays the, the engagement, the, the overlapping of the areas of research is getting each time more and more common. So, uh, from, uh, in, a, in, a, in a matter of time, it would be useless for us to talk about talk about the uh, biomathematics bungee, there will be just one and just the same. So uh, biomathematics gives us several luxuries, several advantages, such as if you if you understand the system properly, you can automate 
such as maybe one example would be uh, let's say a private example would be recently I was in a, in a doctor uh, recently as the university asked every student every student every professor let's say everyone to go to the doctor to make a, a, a check out and the, I remember that in the beginning you had to fulfill a kind of form so imagine if that form after fulfill could do it by internet or even after fulfill it a computer will make the screen of the information but that kind of doctor need to do that so imagine that the time of a doctor is like he working if he, if he forms it's a, it's a waste of time so this kind of stuff just possible when you know how to translate a doctor work mathematically the same way for a biologist if you know how to do it precisely you can make automation so you can learn from simulation simulations are it has been used by the by industry for a long time since the beginning of the computer and the advance is very simple you can you can make change of the scenarios you can change stuff that in reality cost you a lot so you can do it like in a in a, in a cheap way and you as well can test hypothesis. So if, if I tell you that I, I know how something works, but sometimes you have no way to see, you have no way to make the living system, you have no way to simulate it, such as recently I was seen a, a set of work, I think it was developed by NASA or a group of NASA, they were trying to study how would be life in another planet. So according to the simulation, they were able to calculate how some animals would be. Uh, based on the physiology of the of the of the of the, of the living system here in Earth. So, if you take as granted that the human that the living system here in Earth has to behave the same way as the living system in another planet, they found a planet very similar to Earth, very far away. Another, I think it's another galaxy. So they found this planet and they tried to calculate which kind of animal they are going to find there. Since the the air is more dense. Uh, they have some different vegetations uh, by the what they could see by the by the the equipment here for Earth. So they calculated like, it was very cool. If you see the kind of animal they found, it's very different for us. And as well, for example, there is a I believe that now if the space age if people want to travel go to another planet, but maybe for us in a human can try to make some medical operation How our physiology are going to re react? How Maybe our, our population is going to react to some kind of the of the of the environment or some kind of the situation that's not common here enough. So we uh, we want to understand. You you want to we we want to manipulate. You you want to make theory uh, to make science more precise however odds can make up their own reason there is no not just one reason so you can decide that on your own so uh, nowadays with the internet as i have explained in the beginning we have the advantage and disadvantages so we, we need to to make a trade-off between that and b and see what the best way for a kind of situation in our situation I think uh, we, we, we are going to adopt a uh, uh, middle way between email and Facebook. Because, uh, email is very nice because you can change, uh, you can exchange mail with your colleagues and so on and so on. Even Einstein, in the time of Einstein, he, as you see from the history, when he was not still famous, he was still uh, publishing his paper. It was like more than 10 years without to be recognized. After publishing his first paper, the special theory of, of relativity and also his paper about free motion and those kind of the, the paper that today is called the, the the five miracles the fabulous papers of Einstein so it wasn't the one one there was an that they, they used they, this kind of communication to, to exchange ideas as, as you do today as you do today with me in the other way there's a Facebook that he uh, it's a it, it's it's a very dangerous place. You can you can exchange ideas with your friend. You can divulgate your work. But as well as well, you can be very informal and people can put inside. Uh, uh, they can put personal interest in something that's supposed to be just science. We are in the middle way. We have a page Facebook. You are welcome to this. You like it? If you like it? We know that somebody is 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 is. is is supporting our work and we have as well a YouTube channel as you saw in the beginning, blog, site, there is a page on my own website, I have created a page on my own website 
the blog you can you can see it or whatever you want so the idea is to uh, to, is to be as close as possible on everyone and try to be as formal as possible that's what could be expected from a group of academic of scholars so uh, uh, the youtube channel that i uh, have explained before has a uh, heavy uh, set of of of, of videos as, as as you uh, we, we saw here this kind of of, of video now we are going to check firstly what it is so the 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 crash course is a it's a list it's a it's a playlist that to be carefully monitored so likely the video that you, you introduce in the playlist are not going to be removed unless uh, it does not give me, we decide that video was not good enough, so uh, let's say that it is not giving a good, uh, good response. We are going to try to do our best to take it, to ask people to give opinion, to give form, to send electronic form, and to see how people are, are reacting to the, to, the, to the content of the, of the, of the course. So all the videos from the place will be submitted for a, for a screen cross and screen cross are going to be made by likely the, the, the response of the, of, the, of, the, of the public and the, we are going to make some kind of screen process in order to remove some vids, like to add all the vids and the, all the videos of this playlist are going to be educative, we are going to be teaching something such as a cold, a mathematical trick and so on. The final version of the playlist is the final version of the course, so this list are going to be supposed to evolve, like a uh, human, like he, like a uh, living system evolve in an uh, environment. And as, uh, uh, when you find, when you find, if you arrive to a, to a, to a state in which it is stable, which we are happy with the content, that's the state that's supposed to be the prototype. So the second one to be potential, uh, it, it's a uh, miscellaneous which is supposed to be very, 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 let's say, examples, uh, let's say, case study, anything, anything that we, we calculate that could be strong, could be very important. So uh, we are going to, as a uh, fourth in our day, I, I have this, uh, this year, I have started another YouTube channel, which is my own YouTube channel, and it has been feeling how difficult now to, to, to work with copyright issue. The point that people, they're right, they have to defend their, their, their intellectual property. But I think that some people think they're exaggerating. So in order to avoid this kind of problem, we, uh, we decide not to, to post video of the other, uh, other parties, the uh, third party videos, unless we we have the consent, the written consent of the by mail of the owner of the of the video. So, uh, for instance, you can find the advanced example of biomathematics and going research so on. So, so this is the the content of the list. The, uh, the second one is 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 supposed to be a let's say a more flexible type of video. Maybe this this time, this this group of video are not going are not going even to exist because we are trying. This will be uh, if the video does not follow here, does not follow here, it's supposed to fall here. Such as someone has a nice video that would like to, uh, to upload, or, would like to, or, or maybe we ask them to upload, they give us the grant to upload, they propose and so on, and you do it. So, see that the difference between this list and this list has, is very sad, though, it's very difficult to distinguish. So, here is mainly a proposed video. Or even a video that we uh, we manage to to get the to get the the right to publish anything that is important, so on. So, but the difference it is it, just meant to try to organize the, the kind of video. But the, the the one that is really important is this one. This is the list that are going to be really really monitored. As opposed to this is the one that we are we are engaged to to produce. These two one they are just like it. Let's say if it happens, okay. In the world, this one is, is the more important. This one is just a let's say if it happens, okay. If it does not happen, okay. So not so important for us. So uh, as I explained before, uh, the problem of of of, of, 
of the copyrights and things very serious. So, but here we, we, are, we are going to make the licenses as, as flexible as possible. This is the, this is the most flexible licenses of the, of, the, of the Creative Commons. Here you can use this video for a commercial reason if you want, as long as you make the credit to, for the original creation. So you can do whatever you want. It's interesting that you get in touch and let, let us know why you are using the, the video, why you use the content that you can maybe get, get in touch. We do not intend to have a, to have a ad advertisement. It's very boring. I hate that, and I think we should get free of that. Science has to be free of advertisement. And uh, since this is a joint a joint effort, we are not working alone. I'm talking in the behalf of the other group. We uh, have to finish the, the this project. This, this YouTube will be this YouTube channel going to be kept for historic reasons as well, the blog and so on. Historical reason mean that we are not going to change it, unless, so it will be out of date soon, depending on the content that you, you stay. For the people teach how to use mathematics, it's, it's not get to be out outdated. We the techniques stay forever if you if you teach how to use it. So uh, as a as a we, we intend to follow for a several step called brainstorm, screen, 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 final version. At the moment, you are in the brainstorm. The beginning. So brainstorming that you, are, you, you you produce as much as you can, and the the screen means that you use a kind of criteria such as uh, this kind of uh, feed that it does not have the uh, direct contact with my vegetables supposed to be removed. So screen means that you apply a kind of rule in order to remove a kind of stuff. It, in, uh, screen in general is used in a uh, in development of new products in the industry in order to start. From a set of ideas called brainstorm and to create a fine version of the product to, to go to the to go to the market. So uh, as a since, since the channel is a, is a scientific place, we have a uh, space for discussion, which means that all the vids will be open for discussion. So uh, if someone has a more elaborate discussion, you can send by me. We are going to to to, to discuss it together and send a feedback or whatever you need, or if someone would like to have this feedback. So as uh, the sense came to me, I did that I, we could see this video, this YouTube channel, and all the project as well as a product, which means a product. A product means that we need to you, you are going to try to apply some methodology for the development of new, of new product, such as when you uh, when you buy a cell phone, when you buy uh, your, your your smartphone, and so on. It is a product. Product means that it was designed for a public, that the public was somehow studied. The public was somehow hurt, and then it was created that was signed for the for, 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 for a client for a customer. So uh, it's it, it's a little bit impossible to say the outputs of the of a new project, but you have to try because it, that's what you are scientists. You try to predict what we are going. Otherwise, we are just like an amateur. We are just to work without any 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 understand. So uh, the main output of the project is a prototype, the prototype for a short course in bioinformatics, which will be special designed for someone that uh, does not have a background in bioinformatics, such as a biologist, a applied mathematician, someone that wants to study bioinformatics. As well, we can, uh, we can say that we have extra achievements, such as uh, if, you, if you treat all these projects as a product, you have a nice paper, let's say if you Treat that, treat that as a as a product, and you succeed. So you have a very nice paper to write about about the design development of a new product. And as well, if you succeed, you can create a tutorial that you just write down all this stuff here. You have tutorial, and as well, uh, you can create create some example because uh, the idea initially you should take a classical book of bioinformatics to study and to. Take the example of this book and translate them into into our our own ways of thinking. But you can as well create our own example. You can as well for them take an example for paper. I as well, I have several examples published, so I can use those examples. And but the, the idea is that this course has be, will be self content I, I, I we are, we are going to try to to avoid to use material that has already been published. Unless they're, they're, they're classical examples, because uh, we would like to have this, the, the to have the opportunity to create something new instead of repeating old wrong styles of thinking. 
as uh, Eric before it was created several social networks so uh, let's say people can start following such as YouTube you can subscribe blog can follow Google can follow and so on and I work with Java for a very long time so as I go on I can easily create code in Java and if I succeed I can make a software and we, we, we work all together to make that free MATLAB as well and the, but MATLAB is not free. If you have MATLAB, you can use the code for free. Otherwise, you cannot use it. Java is completely free. As long as you have the code, the virtual machine can run it. So, uh, what is the content of the course? It's not very easy. Still, we still have a lot to define. But uh, basically, you can say that you have the, the technical details, which is the which we need to produce. It's part of the course. Otherwise, there is no reason for this course to exist. And you can also have some, let's say, planets, some topics that you can as well add to make the course more uh, richer. Such as you can have materials for discussion, such as um, there's a paper you want to discuss, there's a model you want to discuss, which is not necessarily technical, which you cannot teach, but they are nice to discuss. You can include it in, in the YouTube, in the other, on the website, in the project as well. Uh, let's say in the beginning, in the step of a brainstorm, you can do whatever you want. So, philosophy issues that, for example, what's biomathematics, why that exists, some big scientists in the past, such as Jacques, uh, Jacques, I forgot his name, Jacques Lobb, I think his name is Jacques, Jacques Lobb, he was a very famous guy that he, he helped a lot in the development of, the, of, the, of the engineering, biology, and so on. So, it's kind of this kind of Figure, they are very important in the development of biomathematics. Besides, most of it has not been recognized so. This could be interesting to, to add at least one video about, about this kind of, you know, of, 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 of picture. Or this could be more difficult to, to justify, such as Mendel, Gregor Mendel, that developed the Mendelian theory, the theory that you today use in genetics. Uh, this is a kind of biomathematics, but it's not generally recognized. Historical issues such as the development of biomathematics in the last century, uh, books, comments, and reviews such as have classical books that could be interesting to, to add some notes about them. It could be very important to have it. So, biomathematics nowadays is suffering a very a big, a very big problem that makes biomathematics very difficult to, to study. You have several, several uh, branches. Uh, this one is not very common, it's called evolutionary computing. General people not say that it's biomathematics, but I, I think it's biomathematics. Evolutionary comp computing is a set of techniques used in computer science, so problems, so they use inspiration from, from evolution. There is also well natural computing that uses inspiration from, bi from biology in general. So this technique is uh, different from uh, all, all of these techniques here if you accept of evolutionary computing, they are used to model. This one is used to solve the problem, so that is the difference. That's why people may, may say that it's not biomathematics. Because you, you, you can be able to model a problem but not be able to solve it. So evolutionary computing is a way to solve it. It's a technique to solve problems. So, have several such as one of the biggest famous nowadays system biology. If system biology have system biomedicine, system pharmacology, system physiology, and so on, there's a huge number of them. So, we tend maybe to discuss uh, which of them, some of them say system biology, almost surely what we're going to discuss. All those models said that even I don't know exactly what they do, I can maybe make a very short discussion. Mathematical biology is a very big name. Uh, you can say that mathematical biology studies mainly models that are mathematical, that are such as when you study the, the, the population of the, uh, the population of the, of, the, of the cancer cells in the body. It's a kind of natural example of mathematical biology. The, uh, the growth of a population based on a prey in the, in the predator. So that's a very nice example. Mathematical physiology, bioengineering, biomedical engineering, biophysics, and the synthetic biology. It's a, 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 it's a nice uh, thing to comment about the difference between synthetic biology and system biology. It's not very simple. But yes, recently I, I, I was seeing a video in, uh, in YouTube produced by a Brazilian group from, I think it was from USP, uh, federal, uh, the, the University of the State of São Paulo. And they, they, they put the name of, of the synthetic biology in the video, but they discuss mathematical biology. So I get in touch with them and ask them why that. They, answer, they did not answer me. 
I don't quite sure why, but anyway, maybe it was a mistake. But it seems to me that they are they're, they're, they're really confused and it can change as well from, from, from country to country because as idea go from a place to the other, it's not always very clear and people start to make mistake or, or conceptual mistake and it go on, go on until we, we do not have a way anymore to make the difference. But I believe that uh, uh, there is a big difference. Uh, uh, since I heard for the first time synthetic biology and uh, system biology, the difference is mainly that system biology more, is, more, is more abstract. Synthetic biology is more practical. Since synthetic biology it is extremely close to bioengineering, extremely close to bioengineering. So I can say that the, uh, if you take system biology and you gather if you bioengineering, you have synthetic biology. But that, that's, all, the, 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 that's the way I see it, not necessarily the way everyone accepts it. Bioinformatics, uh, theoretical biology, dry biology, some would like to call it what you do in computer, some people call it dry biology instead of wet biology. Wet biology is the classic biology. Dry biology is this, this new biology based on, on mathematical models. In silico, people make the difference in order to differentiate between in silico, in vitro, uh, in vivo. In, vi in silico, computer, in vitro, laboratory experiment, in vivo, a human experiment. So basically, so can say that can just assume. I mean, for here we are going to assume that when you take mathematics and join with life science, you have a biomathematics. So biomathematics here you, we as well include physics. So physics for us is mathematics. So uh, as as any course, we need to be sure that we are sharp in the the the, uh, the right skills. Here we are going to sharp. We are going to increase to enhance. Uh, to improve the computer programming, mathematics, and life science. Of course, someone that comes to this course uh, that is, is, is following the videos or even are going to attend the classroom, classroom like course, if you are at this stage of the project, are going to have different uh, level of uh, expertise. Some of them might be very good in computer, others very good in mathematics, or very good in life science. One of the reasons that uh, I, I like to give to try to, to fight for project like this one is that you need new professional, new people that you really learn, learn how to handle this stuff at once. They learn from the from the high school, not sorry, no, they, they, they learn from the beginning of the graduation, how to of the of the bachelor, of the beginning of their their high school career, how to have how to handle it equally. People they, they are going to tend the to handle one of them more than the other. And after we are up to a certain stage of the scientific life, it's very difficult to change the mentality of someone. They are going to learn the odds, but they still be pies. For instance, if you take several kinds of biomathematicians, I have seen several examples, for me, they, they are not biomathematicians, they are mathematicians. They, are, they, are, they are just do mathematics and call that biomathematics. So that's one thing that I would like to, to help to maybe to change it in the future. So uh, life science, we have like medicine, biology, uh, in mathematics, we have modeling, application of model, and the computer side, we have code and algorithm. All of this, I hope that we are going to, to help people to, to help them uh, to, to increase them. Of course, we, you know, we are not going to, to give a course about biology, neither course about medicine, and neither course about uh, modeling. They're, all of these are very complicated areas. Can, can, he, can take years for someone to learn this stuff. You are going to just try to sharp some kind, some skills on them. As every course, you need to be sure that you have the right requirement, otherwise people do not understand what they are doing. So it's not very easy here to say the, the requirement because that's one of the good points, the bad points of mathematics. We, we learn a lot about everything. So at the same time, it's very difficult to, to say what's going to be more important. Some situations need to be very good in physiology, or situations have to be very good in mathematics, or situations have to be very good in computer science. So basically, I, I, I would dare to say that if you have a, a familiarity with mathematics and the biomedical science is more than enough. A computer program, you can handle that, I believe, very fast, especially today that you have a lot of software that is specialized in, in solving problems, such as Google MATLAB. You don't need to know too much about code. MATLAB has solved everything for you. And the, as, as much as you can, you try to be self-content. What means, what means self-content? Self-content means that he, all you need are going to be produced in the, in, the, in the course. It's a good opportunity for us because the, the, the more you teach, 
the more post you have, the bigger are going to be the cost, and better are going to be the cost. But as well, as well, it's extra work. It's very tough to be so complete. So uh, we are going to include as much as we can. But as, as we are human, we can always make mistakes. So in this project, we hope that we are going to keep the same, I mean, uh, the same, uh, the same group, maybe to increase, not decrease. It's myself that you are I talk to you right now, uh, Ilaria Pietrantoni, which is a PhD student of, the, of, of Professor Maggio, and she has a background in biology. Professor Maggio tells me that she works in pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics in the, in the professor of medicine. I was his student to, uh, I, I, I attend his lessons in pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So uh, we welcome anyone that could be interested to collaborate. Uh, we don't we don't know yet how long this this project are going are going to last. Maybe even one year. I don't know. We don't know how long it is. I believe that the important produce is nice. So the project we go, we say that uh, as every project we need to as every project we need to say that it's over. It ended. So for us it ends when we deliver the prototype for our course in biomathematics. We hopefully. We can implement ourselves, or maybe it, uh, give the direction for somebody else to implement. Initially, it was that was something very interesting. That in, 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 yeah, initially I, uh, we just had a crash course in mathematics, but I have proposed and hope that we are going to do it very well. That you, you treat the course as a product. What the advantage means that you can apply methodology of design and development of new products, which I have used five years ago. Not trying to make the best in the best way in the, to deliver someone a, a product, and yes, you can get a very nice publication as well if you can if you make this, make it very well. So I close here. That was that the video that will be the first video that we are going to suppose to stay online until we are able to produce the video, the first video, which is the introduction of the course. So I close here. It's the uh, it's George be happy to talk to you. And the, before this video go to publication, I I I I'm, I'm wait for the approval of the of Hilary Pietrotoni and the and as well in Professor Management doesn't still have to approve, but he I hope he'll be uh, following the the video. And if you do if you do a, let's say big mistakes, he are going to stop us.